go. Hi, <laughs> <Light> camera action. Make <laughs> <laughs> laugh. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I was tagged last week by Emma Colours 2020 to do the colour skirt tag. Now it was her and Cora from Colourful Optimistic, Colourfully Optimistic. Them two came up with this tag and it's a really fun one. I think this is probably the second time that I've gone to sit down. I couldn't be bothered the other night could I? because I was too tired. No. Anyway, my husband's here again for this one. Say hello. 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 Oh. Are you saying it weird? I'm not saying it weird. Hello. Well, you want me to say, yeah, <laughs> say farm, Debbie. Farm. Farm. <laughs> right, so, those are the questions. Mm-hmm. You can answer them with me. Well, you just tell me, you tell me which one. No, well, you're going to be able to, you can't just, ask that first one, because well, I got, uh, well, got shaved that last time. Well, em Emma did. She said knife. So, I think we'll be okay. Anyway, I did look at these questions the night that we was going to film it. So, I have got an idea. So, because one of them was about a film and I ended up watching that film. Anyway, we'll get to that. Do you want to ask the first one? Oh, before I start, this is the book that I'm colouring in. If anybody's wondering. That doesn't need to be under there, does it? No, no. Just keep it on your side if you want. How many questions is there? Uh, 19, I think. How long is it going to take? I'm watching the football there as well. Probably about half an hour, 40 minutes, as long as we don't keep Pausing. No, they just scored, it's 2-0, I think. What did I say about talking when you're facing that way? I wasn't facing that way. You was? I wasn't. You was, I'll be out, show you in the camera. And, and I'll be out, show you that you're wrong. Danny, come on. Yeah, it's 2-0. I've got a bet on four, what's my trick? First question was, or is, what weapon would you choose if you were living in The Walking Dead? And mine's going to be, even though it's not a proper we weapon, technically it is, a dog. Because you could use that as a weapon, that dog. I wouldn't use a gun because you'd run out of ammo. To find some more. I wouldn't use a knife because I could run after the person next time because I'm not athletic at all. But if you had the dog and you trained it, like dog, it's called dog, isn't it? Yeah, thought about that name for a long time, didn't you? I know. <laughs> so I'd choose dog or a dog. What would you choose? Definitely not a dog. I think oh. that's stupid. <laughs> Well, they're still alive in uh, Walking Dead. But do you want a dog or a gun? Mm. You want a gun. Run out of ammunition. Ammunition. You want to find more. They always find more. It's like the petrol thing. What? They always seem to find petrol. Like seem ten to find ten me, years yeah. later, rubbish. Yeah. Got off petrol, apparently. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy about the petrol shortage. <laughs> 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 um, I don't think you. Be best off with a gun or a very, very, very long, sharp pole that they keep using to stab <laughs> people in the head with. You're not going javelin. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what they use because they stab them in the face, don't they? They'd have to have a spike on them. Or the just have a walker as a weapon. Yeah, like Michonne. Yeah, chop his arms and stuff off. I nearly swore them. I did well yeah, with it, but didn't swear all the way through last time, <laughs> which is an absolute miracle. You don't know that one. Happy with that one. Yeah, what happened in that patio door on Berlin now? Then dogs will start barking at still. Next one. If you were paid, to, this is question two. If you were paid to stay the night in a haunted house, would you? And how much would they have to give you? A lot of money. It depends how haunted it is. But if it was a nice haunted house. Well, that's house, a stupid question for you because you don't believe in ghosts, I do. Because they're not real. Well, there you go. So you you could say yeah because you wouldn't be scared. You'd still be scared. And you'd be the one per the one of the people that had happened to, and something bad had happened to you that make you believe. I would, I would stay in one, but it'd take a lot of money, millions, millions. Oh, millions. There's someone because it's, up here because it's a, scary. With a big brown bag with 50 grand in it and said, go and spend the night in that house. He wouldn't. Not 50 grand, no. Nonsense. Well, depending if I know the story of what's going on in the house. You've got them pound notes in front of you, haven't you? It depends what happened in that house. They don't tell you, they just tell you that it's haunted, that's it. <laughs> Might be a nice haunted house, like a nice ghost. There's no such thing. How do you know? Because there's no such thing. But there's such thing as ghosts, but there's no such thing as nice ones. But then I'm like saying, nice if, if something ever happens to you, you tell me you're all upset about it, I'll just laugh at you and I'll myself then. If something happens to you. Like what? Like it's the ghost like coming out, or you see something. The ghost coming out. Right, or they do something to you. We did see one that night, years ago, do you remember? I was looking for my mum. I was looking for your mum. No, you said you saw that. I said I saw I a person. I didn't see anything. 
you'd spend two hours talking about this one question if you really wanted to. What, that one? Yeah. That question? You would, you could do, yeah. You'd spend ages talking about it. Want so your answer is no, you wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. No, oh, too chicken. Question three, what superstri superstition stroke urban legend do you Big believe? Foot. I thought you were going to say Loch Ness Monster. Bigfoot. No, Loch Ness Monster isn't real. Earth is Bigfoot real? No, well, to go back to the Loch Ness, that isn't, re that isn't real. No, it's they, not they, real. they kept saying it was a, a plesiosaur, <laughs> dinosaur. And there's no way that that could have lived there now anyway. No, so just to clarify, you don't believe in a Loch Ness Monster, but you're happy to believe in Bigfoot. Yeah. Right. Go on, what's Bigfoot? A big monkey. A big monkey, where does a it A really live? tall one. I don't know where it's meant to be, up in the hills and jungle somewhere, I don't know. Right. What does it survive on? Grass. No, it'll be like an om omnivore, like chimpanzees. Uh, what grass, fruit, and, and meat, both. Why don't we find all these? They found footprints. Why don't we find all? Found what footprints? They have. They have. They found they footprints. Big one ones. One million percent. Not found footprints. There's, there was fake footprint. videos from years and years ago yeah. that people dressed up as them. What are you shaking your head for? You, you believe what you believe, and let me believe what I believe. I believe loads of conspiracy theories, but ones that are actually more plausible. That's not a conspiracy. Of course it's a conspiracy. No, it's not at all. It's an urban myth. Okay. It's a false urban myth. I hope that camera picks up my side then. <laughs> <laughs> well, what other, what other urban legend is there? Um, I don't really know. Like you said, the Loch Ness. Loch Ness monster. I don't know. Question for which horror movie did you never get over? Right, well this is the one that I was talking about. Did you watch it? You said it. I asked you the question. Remember when I was in the car the other day and oh, I said yeah. I don't remember any film that's done that to me and you said it was insidious, insidious and I made to take yeah. it off, turn it off. But I watched it the other night. Didn't bother me. Yeah, well that's, did, it, did that bit happen that I was telling you about? Well I don't remember seeing it. Well it might have been the second one or something like because there's two or three of them. There was a bit where that ghost thing that was in the corner of the room, like doing something to the kids' dreams or something like that. I can't remember the film for myself. And you went, turn it off, turn it off, I think you're watching this. No, well, it went, I'm pretty sure it went in that first one. Unless it was the second one. There is two or three of them, There's there? three, I think. Maybe even four. It is the one I said it, though, when it was something to do with dreams and people getting lost in them and stuff like that, wasn't it? Um, Maybe it was a different film. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that. Yeah, it was sort of. It was and is there a man who can go and do, stop it or something? That's not in the first one. Mm, no, maybe, maybe it was the second one. That's not the first one. I didn't like Blur Witch when I was young, younger, but I, I watched that when I was really young. I was probably about 11 or 12. Laura let me watch it. I never watched it. It sounded like it was stupid. No, but that scared me because I was really young. But there's not really a... Oh, I don't like the scene in Alien, but you've not seen that. No, what about where the, the grudge? alien comes like out of a Bella. Yeah, yeah no, but it's not like... changed my life. Like, I, could, I, I couldn't... I'm scared of it. The ring. If I have to pick one, the ring where she comes out that bloody oh, TV. Yeah, the TV yeah. When she comes out that TV and her legs and her arms are look. Mm. Alright, the um what's that thing you get floor called? The well. One. Yeah, well it's the TV one because nobody yeah, saw that Yeah, one. that probably that one. Yeah, but it's static. Number five. What is your favourite scary and or Halloween colouring book? There can't be that many. Um, either well, this is this isn't a Halloween one, but some of the pages they are a bit Halloweeny. Wait, no, but my, my probably my favourite is the Jasmine Beckett Griffith one. And it's literally called Halloween. Oh, Halloween something. Yeah, that's my favourite. Go on, then you answer that. What one? <laughs> Which is your favourite Halloween colouring beak? Yeah, no. <laughs> I actually had a boot come today, a new one. Believe it or not, it wasn't a colouring boot, it was a reading boot, but I can only start that on well, when I've got glasses, hopefully. Yeah, make sure you use that new book. Which one? You've got to use everything you get, don't forget, make sure you use it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear anyway. That boot's there. That what? boot's there. Oh. It, it sounds like a cracking one, actually. Oh, yeah, that's a reading book, not a colouring book. Seller girl. I watched somebody's YouTube video on the story, and she was selling it, saying that the boot's for sale. And of course I went and bought it straight away. What did I do then? Five? It's six, isn't it? What is the scariest book you've ever read? Mm. Goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've not read a scary... I read... Another point horror. Pass me that book. Please. Yeah, pass me my new one. 
I read a lot of books like this that, that are true crime. So even though they are not like horror books, they're really, really scary because of what, what happens to the girls in them. So, so I have to pick something like, like a true crime. They are really scary what goes on in there, what them girls go through. Something That's like not that. horrible. I know, but I've not read anything like that. Goosebumps. That was years ago. Say cheese and Nick. die. Say cheese and die again. <laughs> I don't remember the name. Scarecrow. Was there a scarecrow? Midnight. I nearly said scarecrow. Monster Blood. Monster Blood 2. Monster Blood 3. Well, I didn't read them as much as you. I had, I had about 45 million copies of them and got about 8 for Christmas ones. I didn't really read as, as much as a kid. I didn't like it. Oh, what was the green one called? The dog one. was the green one with the dog on the front. I don't know. I must have had about 50 copies of them. Did your mum sell them on car boot sale? Probably for about 3p, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you do know your mum might watch this. She will, yeah. And she sold that city shirt. That she shouldn't have sold. That's the one to keep. Actually, guaranteed she will watch this as soon as she sees that it says husband. Good. She will watch it. <laughs> I can't think of a lot of them. There's a lot of I don't know. Like I said, I didn't really read much as a kid. I didn't like it. Scarecrow Watts at Midnight was a good one. How I Got My Shrunken Head. That was an orange. <laughs> I didn't remember all these. <laughs> Danny, I didn't read them. I, I watched them on Nickelodeon. I how I got was it Nickelodeon? No, not no, that. No, they were on Nickelodeon. Are you, that was are you afraid, afraid of the dark? dark? Yeah. It was on at half six, eight, fifty, six, seven. Yeah, I used to watch them. I didn't read the books. How I got your shrunk, my shrunken head. That was a good one. I think they brought a film it. Right? Out of Goosebumps. They got the Goosebumps was a series. All the, all the thing is the Haunted Mask. That was one. No, oh, I see. Right, I don't remember any of these. What? I don't know any of them. People will remember them. Probably. A lot of people are buying Goosebumps books now. <laughs> I had your front cover of Goosebumps books last year at Brown School for Art. But that got cabooted as well. <laughs> 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 She's gonna kill you, <laughs> That was the number six, wasn't it? Number seven, if you could be a scary monster, what one would you be? Don't say Bigfoot. Um. I was thinking of a cute, cute monster. It's a scary monster, not a cute monster. I know, monster. but I can't really think of a scary one. Um, what would you really class as a monster? A, mu a mutated dog or something? I don't, I don't know. know. If you could be a scary monster. Like a vampire? <laughs> or a zombie? I think that'll be sure Nickelodeon called Real Monsters. Yeah, I've got a calling book of that. Not no, pulling it yet though. Not how he died in my head. Crumb. Yeah, well that's that's more. Crumb and the woman's called Ickies. No, that's more of a cute, cute one, isn't it? It's not, it's not scary. I don't know how to answer that question, really. Scary monster. <laughs> Other me in the morning when I look at mirror. I could answer, but you probably wouldn't be able to put it on your video. What? Probably won't be able to put it on your video. I'd say. <laughs> That's what I want. Well, I'm going to pause it now anyway because we need, we need, I need to it only records for 20 minutes at a time so you can tell me. No, I need 20 minutes. I've just looked at the next question and I don't fully understand it. It says, where is the place you've ever been? Considering what it's meant to be about this, I'm assuming oh, it's well. where is the scariest place you've ever been? Isn't it? Uh, probably it's not really where's the nicest place to be on a Halloween question thing, is it? I don't know. Well, it will, won't it? Roll off. Are they arguing over that tea toy? I I love yeah. They're all the, yeah, they're arguing over the tea toy. I said no. Um, I don't know. I've not been, I don't think, anywhere that's particularly scary. Like, we could, people do ghost hunting and stuff like that. I don't think I'd be able to do that. If they carry on, they'll go in the beds. Yeah, put them in the beds. TV. I don't think I've ever... Really? Oh no, I do know one one scary place. When my little brother was being born, when Ryan was being born, and they shot up my. Eye. I'll have to start off with my dad's a butcher. She's just she's growling because I think Rollo's probably the one got something. Right, I'll have to sort the dogs out. I literally arguing over nothing. Yeah, when Ryan was being born, which is my little brother, my dad was obviously in the hospital, I can't think because of her. Uh, um, it was my dad's boss that was looking after me and Chris, and my dad's a butcher. And then Chris showed me the, the open, the door of the freezer to the butchers, and he shut the door 
on me but just for a couple of seconds if it scared the life out of me so that was probably the scariest place that I've ever been in a, place in a butcher's fridge butchers. butcher's fridge with all them things hanging everywhere oh, it's scary. It, it done it at that age yeah it was at that age it was next one number nine where's the scariest place you've been me yeah um i don't get scared shut up because i'm dead hard <laughs> shut up uh, oh, one of the other scary places is the hospital i hate the hospital i hate the hospital with a passion remember that day that we went and it was there was nobody there in corridors yeah and it was meant to be dead busy because of because of covid yeah and there was nobody there in the corridors and there was them empty beds that was quite scary that was eerie that i do know scary. where the scariest place i've been actually is oh no it's that story that you told me no yeah. no it's not no it's not that no it's not that at all well, why did you say that over there i did because i just told you about that i was about the, the railway tracks that we had the scariest place i've ever been is the job that we did at work in the surgical skills oh department. yeah and you did the smell in the um surgery refurb in the surgical skills department at manchester university and we had you had to strip out the existing um surgical skills bit which is where they taught all doctors and well, well the, the kids lads and girls who were trained yeah, trainers, doctors. they had and when when someone dies they donate the body to medical science they had all the dead bodies in all the fridges and freezers in there as you went in so we had to go in we had to sign all these waivers and stuff before we went in so we wouldn't take, we'd only take pictures when we were allowed and um you had to sign stuff to say about things that if things that you're going to see and stuff in there because they had literally bags of bones and stuff on the floor when they would be obviously showing them this is this and this is how you do that and they had like jars and stuff in the rooms where they had brains and flipping lungs oh, and stuff in I where they operate on coming stuff. on that day and then all the, when, we were, when we were in there there was a flipping half half cut up body like the head took off it you know, and was stuff it girl like or that. boy? and you couldn't see that well, me did it have boobs or not? I could, it had a big tarpaulin sheet over it. You couldn't see the body, it had a tarpaulin oh, right. sheet over it. Me and Murphy were stood next to it. And you could just see underneath, you could see the bottom of someone's foot. And I said to him, there's a bloody body under there. And we're still there talking about the job like it's nothing. Was there a tie around the talk, because in films? There was a guy stood in Put a tie around it, don't they? No, I didn't have that, because no. it was just like, literally just dumped at the side. Or, it's in the main bit where it was just pushed off to the back. And we went in, and there was a group of students at the bottom part of the thing with a big, like, screen up and everything over wherever they were being taught how to do whatever. And all the freezers were across the back wall, and that's where they had the bodies, and you could just tell it was weird in there. It felt weird, because there was loads of dead bodies in there with you. And it stunk of formaldehyde, because that's what they used to they pumped the body full of formaldehyde to preserve the bodies yeah. and they died they just stunk of that and there was this one room where they, it was called the sluice room and it's where they like hook the bodies up to drain them I think they got drain the blood and stuff out of them I think anybody knows anything about this I'm no, really not wrong here no, yeah, the, the, but it's where they pump the formaldehyde I don't into think the they hang them up Danny There's well, a I don't mean hang them up I mean it's did, like a, I did, don't mean literally hang them no, it's just the way they position them I've watched documentaries about this and it's like a metal table it is a metal table and then they're on these plastic things so you've got one for the top of the body one for the bum and then one for the back of the legs these, these yeah, but when I say hung I don't things. mean like the hung from the ceiling I was going to say because you're making it sound positioned like an apertures do it and it's got drains on the floor where all the juice and gunk or whatever comes out of the body drains into that and you've got all the wires that pump the formaldehyde into the body and there was a tag on the table with a guy's name Albert Cadman but you must have been the last person in there yeah, I'll never forget that, that will you? it wasn't necessarily scary but it was just weird and very eerie yeah. and you could tell that he was around a lot of dead bodies it was odd Hopefully I'll never have to do that again. And all the people who worked in there were oddballs. And then on the floor above that, that's where they did all the animal testing. Well, I don't, I don't, well, I don't want to know anything about that. I've told you all about that. Yeah, but I, don't, I forgot. It was a long time ago, so don't tell me again. I don't like stuff like that. You talk to, talk to me about dead bodies and stuff. Don't talk to me about animals. Well, next one. Uh, are you scared of the dark? And if so, what scares you most about it? Um... Not particular, not particular. I used to, in our old days, it used to be that straight stairs, run upstairs as quick as I could, because you'd think someone was chasing you behind you. Why? In uh, Thickness Avenue, because I just did, and I did it as a kid as well, you'd run up as quick as you could, 
I remember because I had a toilet it used to be downstairs in that old house. Mm. Yeah, I thought I, I didn't like that. But not really, not anymore. Not since. It's not completely dark, is it, in our bedroom? Because we've got Isabel's camera. Well, it so depends it's not. what you call it dark. If you're in your own house and it's dark, you're just watering your eyes in the dark no matter what. You might be scared if you was somewhere else and it was dark. Maybe if I watched a scary film. Yeah, well, that would probably just be if you're in the house on your own. Not necessarily. I'd put, if if we'd watched a scary film, I'd probably <laughs> put a, question, uh, a light on in the hallway. Next what? question, do you go to the toilet with the lights on or off after a scary movie? On. And if you have a closet, would you need to have the door fully closed to sleep? No. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't bother me, stuff like that. No. My uh, wardrobe doesn't shut properly ever so slightly a bit that much anyway, so I'm not that bothered. Check to my side of the bed anyways, or you wouldn't be ours, would you? The mirror bit doesn't shut properly. It's on my side of the room. I know, but still, it's still a night room. So that doesn't bother me, no. Not really much I can say about that, you? No. Do you prefer to watch scary movies with others or alone? Um. We used to watch a lot of scary films, didn't we, when we were younger? We don't really anymore, do we? I don't know, I'm a massive fan of them, though, really. And there's, there's not really that many good scary films anymore, No, we anyway. used to watch Saw and stuff, didn't we? And then the last one that we watched was the one at 3D, and we went to pictures watching it, but after that, I think it got a bit silly. And we stopped watching them. I don't think there's many good scary films been out for years anyway. They're all the best ones or old ones. Um, but I watched, like I said, that in Insidious, and I've watched that on my own. And that thing, technically, that I'm watching now is a horror. What's it called? The thingy game. Squid, Squid game. Games. That's really good. Really, really good. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that, and I'm watching that on my own. And I so can watch that. So you can watch something that's dubbed. Yeah, you know what? It's not too bad. So you should be able to watch Money Heist then. Well, that's your sort of thing. Yeah, but you would like it if you watched it. I've got plenty of things that I like to watch myself. You weren't going to watch Squid Games unless Elise had told you. You know what? If Lewis had come down and said that he'd watched it and told me, even though I didn't know, I probably would have done. Yeah, but you put it on last night. But actually, told you. I'd seen it all over TikTok and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a confused game, actually. <laughs> no, I, I did have a look. And it was Elise that said, no, it's a film. So yeah, I'd watch them on my own now. But you like all the um, Elm Street, is it Elm Street? Yeah, but, yeah, but when you watch them as an adult, they're just stupid. Yeah, I know, but yeah, do you not remember you bought that box, box set and you went, these are the scariest things yeah. ever, Debbie. And I watched them because I'd never watched them ever. And I was like, really? Yeah, the box set as a kid. I remember the song. Mm -mm. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, knock on the door or something Better like that. Better lock your door. See, I don't really remember. Five, six, get no, I crucifix. I didn't, really, I didn't really find them scary at all. Chucky, I found scary. Never watched them. Oh, that's what I based her off as well. Chucky's bride. The blonde hair, the same colour eyes and makeup and stuff. I thought it was fitting. Do you, ever, you, know, you know what, circling back a few questions, you know what's my to find scary? Gremlins. Oh, I did as well. <laughs> You know what I'd love? Is that what you were called? Yeah, gremlins. gremlins. The evil ones. Yeah. Do you know what I'd love if you can ever find it for Christmas or birthday? A little tedder. What's it? What was it called? Gizmo. Eh? Gizmo. Eh? Gizmo. Either a gizmo one or when they change, when they when they change, when the water hits them. When water hits them, they spurt out the eggs from the back, and then they turn into these green things or a little ornament. Yeah, gremlins. Go my Game of Thrones ones. Yeah, he's super cute. We had a dog called Gizmo, with all the other dogs. So you'd have bring him back to life. Yeah. We, ne we never had a dog that you, you died because my parents always did, got rid of it. You didn't pick up on that then, did you? Yeah, the hamster. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I had a hamster years and years and years ago. This was like when I was about 10. And before you say she was 16, no, I wasn't. I was about 10. You were older than that. What was it called, ever? Tammy the Tampax. <laughs> Laura named it. And anyway, it died and my parents had replaced it. And I thought my dad had brought it back to life. How many times? I don't know. Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I had a hamster years and years ago. Uh, which one do we do then? Number 11. Number 12. Do you want to be a vampire, a zombie or a werewolf and why? Werewolf. Why? Um, actually, I don't know. Either a werewolf or a vampire. One. A vampire because you'd be super fast and strong. Right. A vampire's fast. Yeah, but you watch Twilight. You see how quick Edward moves. But I'd like to be a werewolf as well. Yeah, but is that the 
Is that the standard for wait, for, zom for zombies and werewolves? And yeah, have you ever seen vampires? In Interview with a Vampire? No. Bad Brad Pitt, you've never seen that. I don't think so. It's a cracking film, it's got Tom Cruise in as well. I remember that one about vampires and what's being locked in a bar or a pub overnight. Is it a Tarantino <sighs> film, that? That's not what I'm talking about, it's a cracking oh, film, that. that. The interview that I want to check if that's on Netflix. It's a fabulous film, that. It's a Tarantino film, they're locked in like a bar overnight, everyone turns into vampires. Oh, what's it called? I know there's another one, Lost Boys. I've never watched that. Oh, they're all vampires. I'm just going to do it off the Google, I'll be finished here. Um, actually, um. Why not a zombie? Zombies live forever. Because they're ugly. Well, they are, though, aren't they? They don't eat. Vampires are hot, are they? Have you seen Twilight? Yeah, but that again. <laughs> yeah, that's not the standard for a vampire, in, is it? Interview with a vampire, watch that. Brad Pitt's in it, so yeah, they are. And Tom Cruise as well when he's dead young, not nice. He looks dead nice in it, he's got long hair. Yeah, but he's about five foot two. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't know, you're not like massive, are you? You're an average height for a bloke. Five foot eleven. Yeah? Yeah, so I'm not five foot but being mid like Tom Cruise, am I? <laughs> Shut up. What would you be? Um, if I could be not all one of these make believe things, how do you believe in vampires as well? No, I don't. No, I don't. Not no. Uh, I don't know. Probably a zombie. Why would you be a zombie? You're just saying that, Ed, because be, I said that. Be, yeah, just to be different, yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to be a big dog, would you? You make the same noises. So. <laughs> <laughs> you build that? No, as the as the zombie, with like you coughing and you spluttering, you got that down to a T. I won't say that. I think I've got COVID. <laughs> oh, you got allergies and you like bothers you. Yeah. Number thirteen. Would you participate in a zombie run, which is a city event that is like a haunted fun run? If See, so, would you be a zombie or a runner? I is didn't, that like Farmer Ted's? I didn't know what this is and I don't know what Emma is. explained it and it, it's it's what it says it is. So everyone organises this run and you're dressed up as a zombie but you can be either a zombie or a, a non-zombie, normal person. If somebody touches you, you turn into the horde and you have to run. Yeah, I would. I, I would love to do that but I wouldn't be able to. That just sounds like it's got disaster written all over it, like someone's going to chin somebody. Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, like sc no, scariest place I've ever been. That place of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, that's definitely the scariest place I've ever been. That Pass Hardale Terror. I didn't, I've not been Jesus in there. Jesus Christ. That is horrible. Do you remember when I went for it? Well, it wasn't you, me, it was David, me. was it? Yeah, you went in when you were about 15, is, 16. No, I weren't even that old. I was about 13 or 14. No, they, shouldn't, they, should, they shouldn't suit you through but it. That Should they? At horrible. that age. I wouldn't let Lewis go through it. Yeah, well, they shouldn't have it. I don't like stuff like that. Like people touching you. No, when it's dark and stuff and pretend chainsaws, no, thank you. It's like that thing, Elise, Elise was going to it every year. Yeah, Farmer Ted's. Farmer Ted's, yeah. What's it called? I don't know. The Halloween thing. Yeah, uh, but they've got a similar thing on this year, actually, it's all at Alton Towers. Scare fest thing. I couldn't do anything like that. Mm. It's in the fig cornfield things, isn't it? Because what if you accidentally like hit one of them by accident? That's what I kept saying. Yeah, so I couldn't do that at all. And this chair needs to hear it. Yeah. I put this together when you was in America. <laughs> that's, can't, that's probably why. I can't believe it stayed up all this time. <laughs> it was only like a three step thing. So you would participate in a zombie run? No, I would like to, but I wouldn't be able to because of my leg. I'd be one of the first people down and I'm meant to be a zombie. Better off being a zombie then so you can just hobble. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd be able to do that perfectly. Number 14. Oh, uh, wait a minute, would you do that? Which one would you be? The people that are running or the people that are running for them? Either or. No, you have to pick. Uh, someone who runs. Nice, no, I don't add it in ages. Because I'd probably be able to outrun a zombie. I'd put a bit of lime in it. I'm relatively well, confident I could outrun a zombie. 
back on Walking Dead when they all just seem to stand there and let him come and get him rather well, than just running away from him. What well, well, if it's Usain Bolt and he's turned into a zombie? It doesn't, matter, doesn't matter if it's Usain Bolt because he still don't run none of them on fucking Walking Dead. Right, Usain well, Bolt, right, all right then. If it's not, not walk, take, take Walking Dead because Walking Dead zombies are crap. The um, 28 days later, 28 weeks later, zombies. Mm. Them. That scene where that guy out of Full Monte is running across them fields that's is one of the most scurry yeah. scenes that, ever. That's when the massive big pointy sharp stick it out, wasn't it, rather than your stupid dog? There's hundreds of them. Hundreds. So. Have you ever seen, have you, have you, do you know what I'm about? Yeah, that's when he had the Robert Carlyle's in it. Yeah, where he, he left his wife in mm. the building and he, he did a run <laughs> That's him. <laughs> He did, he lost his wife and she stood at the window like that with her hands on glass going what you doing, what you doing and he's just running away. It's horrible. Looking after them warm. Why is that what you would do? <laughs> Don't know, it depends. <laughs> depends what sort of mood you were in that day. Nice. Do you prefer, number 14, do you prefer gory, creepy or cute and spooky? Both. Both. Last year I did um, Lords and Lords of the Cute and Creepy by Camilla de Erico. I've not done one actually yet, but we're only we're only one week into October, aren't we? Yeah, ninth, isn't it? Yeah, well, two weeks. We're in second week then. Uh, I've done more gory pictures. I've done this one, and I've done um, one in Beauty of Horror that I just need to do a couple of bits in the background. Both, though. I'm gonna say both. Hat pick. <sighs> Amy, brush. So obviously you can't have that one. <laughs> Number 15, what scares you most about being home alone? Nothing, I like being home alone. I do, I like being home alone. Yeah, and if you was, that when you went away to America, it didn't bother me, I could sit here and do what I wanted and colouring and stuff and I could have the big TV on. It didn't bother me one bit. If there was a bit of a noise downstairs, yeah, I'd be scared. There you go then. <laughs> there you go, so don't say it doesn't bother you. No. It, Everybody, no matter who they are, whether they like, say it or not, doesn't like being in the house on their own if they hear a noise or something, especially at night time. So that's why you need a big, bigger dog, not two two hours. But look after you. So you don't like being in the house on your own then, that sounds a bit. I'd rather not be in the house on my own. Yeah, well that's you, that's your personality. You go stir crazy when you're off work for a couple of days and you don't leave the ice. Mm. Imagine if you do have to isolate for whatever reason. You'd be pulling your bloody eyebrows out. Where it wouldn't bother me. I think you'd be surprised. I think I've only been out twice this week and that was with Kirsty. We walked to the lake. I was meant to be going out on Monday but I can't do it now because she's not at school. She might be, I might on Tuesday for my glasses test, the rest of the week I probably won't. Well, that's your fault, isn't it? It's not my fault because I choose to. I don't mind being in the house on my own. Talks at dogs. That thing's happened to my finger again. I don't know if it's because of the fat fingers. Because I got the ring sized up, didn't I? It's probably just all the stuff you get stuck on the That's what I think, yeah, like not soap or something. I put pseudo cream on it. Alright, number 16. Speeding up now, I want to watch the rest of the football. Would you rather walk through a cornfield or forest in the dark? Forest. If they're talking about, have you seen, what was that film we watched the other day? Um, Signs. What about the crop circles? Yeah, with Mel Gibson. Mm. I won't like walk through them. Because mm -mm. every time that you see them on a film, there's always something in there. I wouldn't like walk through that, but I wouldn't like walk through the forest either, because we're all animals. Yeah. yeah. Would you walk know. through the forest then on your own at night? Um, you walk through the forest then at daytime or something for being weird people who walk I do, I do walk around there, I walk around with her with Isabel. It's always full of flipping weirdos. No, I, would, I, I don't know actually that one. I don't know. That's my answer, I don't know. What would you pick? I've never even seen, I don't think, do we even have proper corn fields? No, they're not like the ones in America, the ones we have over Corn field then because I'll be able to see all the corn. <laughs> uh, it just comes up to about here. Oh yeah. Where over there, it's like way up here. Yeah, so I'm not probably a cornfield over here because they're not proper cornfields. Number seventeen. If you could make a magic potion, what would it do, and what ingredients would it take to make it? Uh, well, I do remember Emma's answer here-ish. I don't remember what the potion did, but she used household items because then she doesn't have to go out to the shop and buy new things just for that. So if I was to make a potion. 
um, it would be one to make me invisible. Go on, what would you use with rolling your eyes? Go on then. Huh? And then the things that I would use is bleach, dog hair, butter. Why does it matter what you use? I don't know, I thought that was a question. Um, toothpaste and fabric softener if it makes it smell nice. <laughs> so when you're making something invisible you'll smell nice as well? Yeah. You don't know how to answer that one, do you? Yeah, I've made one that duplicated money. That's... Be a portion, and I'd pour it on the money, and when I poured it on the money... Fair enough. It'd turn a tenner into 100 quid, etc, etc, etc. Think properly about questions like that, and think how you could actually change uh, the world, uh, or change yeah. your life. No, but you've not said what I'd do if I was invisible. You're not going to be a millionaire, are you? I'd rob a bank. Yeah, well, gonna, how are you going to spend the money? The bank will know it's gone. I don't know, I've not thought about it yeah, that much in detail, Danny, Jesus Christ. The bank's, bank's going to come in on Monday morning and go, oh look, all that money's gone, we won't worry about that. Well, it doesn't matter because they did see it on the camera, they did just see a bag of money moving, not yeah. the person. I don't know, I've not thought about it like that. Mine's definitely the better answer though. Number 18, what was your favourite Halloween costume of all time? Uh, one of my mum's old dresses and she turned me into like a Frankenstein. She's got a picture of it. I'll message, I'm going to message her tomorrow see if she can find the picture then I can put it over the top but I bet you she, she can't. It was a white dress, like a lace sleeve dress, it, it, it almost looked like an old wedding dress. Um, yeah, we put, uh, there was dirt and blood and stuff on it, it was like a Frankenstein one. That was my favourite one and we back on my hair and put spray in it to make it look grey. What, what I don't was think yours? I really dressed up for Halloween. As a kid? I don't think so. Why? Your mum didn't yeah. take you trick or treating. I don't think so. No, I just I, remember, I don't remember going trick or treating until I was old enough to go and be old, and that just turned into more like causing chaos rather than trick or treating and egging things. <laughs> or trick or treating on the chippy to get a bag of chips. That. There's no way that your mum didn't take you trick or treating. I don't remember. I don't remember going trick or treating without not just being on my own. I specifically remember that night and we went down the main road and it was all these posh houses and I got one pound off someone I thought I was rich. Pound. Three now. One more goal and my bet wins again. You give me some more pennies then I'll buy a new book. No, I've won enough for myself today. <laughs> had a great day today. No, I bought that diamond and paint and stuff, didn't I, with that, um... Yeah, because I gave you money that I won't. That's what I mean, I bought, I bought that with it. You said, is there anything you want on your wish list? And I picked that. And as you know what, it's cracking as well. It does mm. the job really well. You don't have any of what I want to do. i not asked for it. I know, you're not having it. But it's tea tomorrow night. No, you're on a diet. Yeah, I'm on a diet, yeah. And do you know what I have for my tea tonight? Bees on yeah. toast. That's a lie. Bees and sausage on toast. Tin sausage on toast. Yeah, there were little tin sausages, but so I don't include That's them. That's your own fault, I offered to buy something. I didn't want you to have to go back out just for something for me, actually. Well, I can go back out tomorrow. What? I don't want to go out tomorrow, do it? Get it as a not delivery, not whatever getting, we not, get. I'm not, not getting a takeaway tomorrow. You wanted an Indian tonight? Yeah, and I stopped myself getting an Indian tonight. And I stopped in myself. If I had turned around and said, yeah, go on, then I'll no, have something. No, I told you we wouldn't have an Indian tonight. Rubbish. Excuse me. Speaking of Indian, I think I remember somebody commented on that last video about Indian do you? What? There was some weird person who commented on that who seemed to think that karma is a nice Kirsty with the karma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I was like that, I was telling her. I was like that with me if you first met because I didn't eat, eat Indian food no, but I, I love it now. I can get a been sashay baby food and warm it up and have a karma. Oh I can't eat a karma now. You remember when Lewis used to, used to eat that? Mm. Even he's on tikka masala now and he has it a little bit spicier sometimes. Uh, last one. Right, one second, I'll just check the football. Yep, yeah, 3 0. Um, who would you I'm rather have? I'm not going to go back, are they? What? I'm not going to go back, are they? To 2 0. It might have been 4 0, it might have been 3 1. I need it to be 4 0. Who would you rather have as a friend, Michael Myers, Pennywise, don't know who that is, Alien, Predator, or Freddy Krueger, and why? Which one's Michael Myers Halloween? Michael Myers is that one like, with the blades on the his mask, hand. Isn't it? No, no it's it. not. I thought he was the white hockey mask. Oh, Michael no, Myers. No, that's, that's Freddy Krueger I'm talking Freddy about. Freddy Krueger. Pennywise is the one that looks like a clown. He's got a white face and big orange. What film is that from? Uh, it. 
which I've never seen, but I know that it's from the it. Thing thing. Yeah, never it. Seen it. I've never seen that one. Um, I'd pick Alien, just purely because it's an alien and it looks Predator. so cool. Oh, there's a picture actually. Predator's Luke. the best one. Predator, the one that goes in. Oh no, Alien's the one that blends in it. Oh, is that Predator? No, that's Predator. Predator, Predator that's the best Predator's one. Predator's the one in the army film. Yeah, I'm a, the Arnie film, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Yeah, that's the best one. Wait, that's Alien. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah, I can think Alien vs Predator, remember that. Yeah. I'd probably pick that one, just because it looks so cool. Predator. I think that's the last one, isn't it? Um, yeah, 19, that's the last one. I should be able to get this finished soon, so you'll see this in my finished page. I just need to finish her clothes. But thank you very much, Emma, for tagging me. And to Corey for making this tag. I'm thinking that it will probably be up next week, this video. Maybe. But I will see you in the next one. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. What do you want me to say? Bye bye. I probably won't. Is that what you said to me? I'll only ever do this with you like once in a blue moon, so I'm not going to do it. Why you enjoyed doing it last time? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.